Fanula Britton said herself that taking a gamble on the European indoors just three weeks prior to her main target, the World Cross Country, could so easily have backfired. But the manner in which she won the bronze medal in the 3,000 metres final at Gothenburg this morning proved that the risk was worth taking. A false start and a minor collision didn't affect her and the athletes were called back. This was Britain's first major indoor event and she chose not to dictate the race, letting Portugal's Sarah Moreira, the eventual gold medalist, set the pace. She had moved up into third place with two laps to go and when she was overtaken again, made another move in a stunning last lap performance and sprinted home against Yelena Korobkina for the bronze. The inside has opened up for Fanula Britain. Moreira's going to win it. Britain comes to the line, striving hard. She's hit it. She's done it. She's got a medal. Fanula Britain, magnificent bronze for Fanula Britain. When I went by the Russian girl and got into third, I was like, okay, I'm safe for a medal. I just keep going. And she came by me again. And all I would think for the last 600 was, I am not coming forth. I am not coming forth. <laughs> I know it wouldn't be known for a sprint, but we didn't start off fast. So it was kind of a build through the whole race. So it wasn't like, I think everyone had would have had a bit of a sprint left there because we didn't, like it wasn't a fast race. Like it's a different event, but it's nice to be able to perform a boat to some extent as well. So yeah. Britain is the first Irish athlete to win medals at European Indoor and Cross Country Championships. This was her third major championship medal in less than 18 months and she'll target another in Poland later this month. Kira Everard made a breakthrough to reach this morning's final of the women's 800 metres. She was pleased with a sixth place finish in a time of 2 minutes 2.55 seconds, which was within one hundredth of a second of her personal best. And Amy Foster was in good company in this afternoon's 60 metres semi-finals. She finished seventh of eighth in her semi in a time of 7.37 seconds. Ivani Cullen, RTE News.